Hey guys, what's going on? It's Crystal Collects, and in this video, I'll be opening up the Thai version of EV Heroes. Now, before we get into the information on this set, I did want to clarify some confusion between the Thai and the Taiwanese cards, since some people were getting them mixed up amongst my viewers. So just to clarify, the Thai cards are printed in the Thai language and distributed within Thailand, whereas the Taiwanese cards are distributed within Taiwan and Hong Kong and are printed in the traditional Chinese languages. So just to summarize, the Thai language in Thailand and then the Taiwanese cards in the Chinese language and in Taiwan and Hong Kong. So hopefully that clarifies some of the confusion between the two language cards. So overall, the Thai version of EV Heroes is pretty much the same release as the Japanese version, same card list, also same card quality, since the Thai cards are printed within Japan. You'll see silver borders, thin cardstock, and also glossy finish. Now the only difference between the Japanese and the Thai cards is the back printing. The Thai cards will have the international backings, since that's the quality of any non-Japanese Pokemon card. And in terms of chase cards, you guys already know, I'm still after Gordy and also that special artwork of the Umbreon VMAX. At this point, I'm pretty much happy pulling these cards in any language that I can. So without further ado, please make sure to smash that like button and also subscribe if you'd like to see more multi-language Pokemon content. Let's get started. Alrighty, I'm really excited for this one. This actually looks really cool in the Thai language, but before we get into that, let me take the plastic off so I can, get it. I can show you guys all the specs. So from what you've already seen, the booster box size is pretty much the same as the Japanese version. The set is called S6A-T for Thai. And on the bottom here, just so you guys can see too, for sale in Thailand only, as I mentioned in the intro, but made in Japan. So just to repeat, the Thai cards will have the exact same card quality as the Japanese cards, which is always very nice. I'd say out of all the Asian languages, the only outlier really is the Korean cards, since they have the yellow borders like the English cards. Of course, very different card quality though. Ooh, but we are guaranteed a secret rare, so I'm very excited to see what we get. Team left and team right, of course. So good luck to you, Jay. Let's see what we get. And of course as well, 30 booster packs with five cards per pack. And as you can see, the international backings. So same backings as the English cards or anything that's not in Japanese. We got the lovely pan charm. I love that artwork there. Our raconid. We have Le Bebe and Aroma Lady. It would be so cool to see her in Thai, actually, the regular full art. But I'm also excited to see all the other evolutions in the Thai language too. Always funny as well because my scissors always match the Vaporeon and the Glaceon on the pack art. All right, one to the front. Of course, they look like the English cards, but they're going to feel so much glossier compared to the English cards. They're going to feel exactly the same as the Japanese cards. And we're starting out with a Sylveon. Very, very nice. And of course, you have the Rengeki logo in the Thai language. So that's really cool. We have 40 out of 67. So there we go. First V card. And of course, you're going to see the same exact hollow cards. And it's going to have the same number of cards in the main set and secret rares. I think like 30 something secret rares. Always so many with this set and 12 special art cards. So hopefully we're lucky enough to even pull one of them in this video. Oh my gosh, we have both sand castles. Palo San and Sandy Guest. We have Meowth and we have Liveni, the mother leaf bug. All right, let's see what else we can get. And if we can get Gordy, I'll be quite happy. I know, you know there's not too many Gordy fans out there, but I love the trainer cards. I love the full arts. I just love collecting them no matter who they are, especially when they're iconic gym leaders from the um, Gala region. For some reason, I just love the Gala region so much. And we have here Florgs. So a fairy type taking on the psychic language. Can definitely understand why a lot of the poison type Pokemon had to take on the dark type, just because there's so many typings with the psychic typing and the TCG. It was going to be psychic, ghost, poison. It's a bit, and also fairy. So I see why the ghost and maybe the poison type. Oops, I thought I got the last card. So we just have a pincer there. All right, so no, no pulls in that one. But let's see if the right side's gonna be heavy or if the left side's gonna be heavy. I always kind of like in dis uh, distinguishing between the two sides. Typically, the secret rare likes to appear on the right. I mean, on the left side. And if it is on the right side, sometimes I see it towards the top. And we have a Raichu along with the Pikachu in the same pack. I do like that. And of course, I like to collect my Pikachus as well. And for those who are curious about how the Thai names are pronounced, usually they take on the Japanese names. Are you fond of them, Jay? Versus the other? Some of them, yeah. I think he's like a Charizard, Lizardon. Lizardon, yeah, exactly. We have Phoebus, and it's we a have Gordy. Bit pronunciation um, compared to the Japanese version. Yeah, since Jay also speaks a little bit of Thai, so mm -hmm. very fun fact to know. But yes, a lot of the names, even if you watch the anime, a lot of the names will take on the Japanese names. Like Ash, I think, is also Satoshi. Yeah. So that's very cool. 
we have the water bottle. <laughs> we have EV, Ibui, I think Ivui in uh, Thai. And we have Glaceon V Max, very lovely, number 25 out of 69. And as you can see, the texturing is pretty much the same as the Japanese card, so quite nice. All right, I'm definitely trying to enjoy my box of Thai cards because honestly, guys, I know this video is a little bit late. It does take a while for Thai cards to do come from Thailand to the United States, so I apologize for the delay. But here we are today, opening some lovely Thai cards together. We have Pangaro, we have Savado, and we have Milotic. It looks so cool in the Thai language. Now I'm very excited for the Korean version and the Indonesian version, which of course have not yet been announced at the time of making this video, but I'm definitely very excited to see all the languages together. All right, so I went to the front. Still no secret rare, but we did get a V Max and a V card, which is very nice. We have Slugma, Tynamo, we have Phoebus, and a hollow in the back. We have Eldegoss, ooh, very nice, with the painted path, thanks to Sneargle. All right. On to the next pack here. Again, S6AT. I believe when the Indonesian version comes out, it'll have the letter I to indicate that it's Indonesian. Okay, we have Kangaskhan. We have Gossip Fleur. We have the Komiya Voltorb, which is very nice. Mawile. And the Elemental Badge. So we got lots of badges for the <laughs> Evolutions. My favorite definitely has to be the Sun and Moon Badge, since I love Espeon and Umbreon a whole lot. What's your favorite badge? You guys let me know. It's also lovely to know a lot of the favorite evolutions amongst you guys because I see we all have a lot of different favorites. Got a Pikachu, gonna put you to the side. And we got Vaporeon, one of my favorites from the first generation since I do love water type Pokemon. Of course, it has the Rengeki logo and this is number 15 out of 69, so one of the earlier cards. Pretty good size for a Japanese style set. I say it's Japanese style since the Asian sets at this point have caught up with Japan and are taking the same style as them, so that's pretty dandy. We have Mikargo, we have Rotom, very lovely card there, a lovely Eevee, and a very happy Marsh Tom. For those who do not know, I love them but Kipline since that was my starter in Ruby and Sapphire. Who is your starter, Jay? Because I remember you also played Ruby and Sapphire. Yeah, do you it's remember? Been a long time. I can't remember. Was it Blaziken? Was it Torchic? No, I love Blaziken. Because I know you're very fond of Blaziken, so I'm wondering if it's because uh, you had Torchic as a starter. All right, and one more thing I do want to show you guys. So here's a little short comparison, like an intermission between the Thai version and the Taiwanese version. So as you can see, the Taiwanese version shows the Pokemon logo in Mandarin Chinese, whereas the Thai version shows the Pokemon logo in English. So if you're confused between the two languages, that's one big way to distinguish the two. So there you go, there you go. Thank you guys for the little Break there. Now back up. There's one more pack on the right side. Imagine if I forgot that one. So just to help further clarify the differences between the Thai and the Taiwanese languages. I know it sounds very similar, easy to get them confused, but there are major differences. So you guys can really see. The Taiwan always looks like the script. The yeah, it looks like the really pretty script. Um, and the Chinese cards, of course, very complex characters, more complex than the Japanese characters, in my opinion. All right, now we're on team left. Okay, so team right definitely did not win today. But let's see what team left brings in. Elemental Badge, Electric, Mokargo, Pancham, and Leafia. Oh, I saw a bit of a shine there. <laughs> Number three out of 69. Not so. a bit nervous? Not, no, thank goodness. Leafia <laughs> in Japanese, but also in Thai. Because at this point, you've actually opened a, a good amount of boxes, I'd say. Good amount of boxes and have not yet pulled any of my chases, but very happy with a lot of the pulls. We did manage to get a lot of special arts, but for some reason, the ones I'm really after, very elusive, so. But not expecting them, more so showing you guys the differences between the languages of EV heroes, because in my opinion, since the sets are so hard to get nowadays, it's definitely always a blessing to even open these. So hope you guys are enjoying this EV heroes journey with me. One to the front here. Okay, we got Gordy, we got the Chad of all Chads, but not the full art. We got Tynamo, Claymation Tynamo, Meowth, and Marshadow. Very lovely holographic. As mentioned, though, the uh, the Chinese Gordy, so so rare. So rare. We've opened a bunch of boxes, some on camera, some off camera, and the Chinese version of Gordy, Gordy impossible. To get. Very elusive. I do not know. He's yo. He's very skilled with those triple backflips he does before battle. Don't underestimate Gordy, as my friend Opossum Bud likes to say. Okay, we have Pinsir as the final card there. Don't worry guys though, we still have a bunch more packs to go. We got two VMAXs so far. 
I've really been hoping for an Umbreon, but it's okay. Hmm. You guys know Umbreon somehow loves to avoid me. Yeah, definitely. Both in special art form and in VMAX form. I do have it in other languages, but for some reason it comes up last for me. <gasps> and we have a special art! <gasps> we got Jolteon! Oh my gosh, guys, number 79 out of 69. I'm so happy we caught this on camera. Smash that like button. This looks like Sonic. That's actually beautiful. I haven't seen this in person. Let's check out that texturing and the glossiness too. Oh, I need to sleeve this up right away. And also, again, just to repeat, very similar to the Japanese card quality. Ooh, what do you think to that, Jay? Definitely nice because you haven't pulled that, you know, in any language yet. So especially pulling it in Thai makes it a little bit more special. You know a, what I mean? A little bit more special. We don't get to open up Thai boxes every day because of how rare they are. And how hard they are to even get from Thailand in the beginning. So that's incredible. Definitely did not expect that. So there you have it. One day I'll have all the special arts together. It might take a while, but it's okay. And if I have them in different languages, that's even better for me because I think the variety is very nice to see. Alrighty, one to the front here. And we still have a couple more languages to go. So we'll see. Still, the journey continues on finding Gordy. We have Pangoro and Jolteon V, the regular V card, number 30 out of 69. And of see, course- you still didn't pull Gordy. Still didn't pull Gordy, point me. Look at that. I don't, <laughs> I don't know why it's so hard to pull. For some reason, a lot of people pull it in Japanese. Again, people have different pull rates. People have different luck. I can't really say if one language is gonna, you know, officially have more Gordies than the other. Cause I've definitely seen some Gordies in Thai, but Again, for some reason, it doesn't come up often as far as I've seen on YouTube and also myself. And we have here Umbreon, not the VMAX, but it's a lovely V card of Umbreon, number 47 out of 69 with the Ichigeki logo as well. So the ones that will have Rengeki logo will be Vaporeon and Sylveon, whereas Flareon and Umbreon will have the Ichigeki logo, also known as Single Strike. And of course, in Thai, it's going to be in the Thai language. Okay, we got the a single energy there, we got Tynamo. We got Gossip Flair, and we got Floet. All right, really did not expect that uh, secret rare though, or super rare special artwork. It's actually really funny though, because I still haven't pulled any Espeons, Vaporeons, or Umbreons, but I pulled everything else, <laughs> which is very interesting. But again, I won't complain. It's a true blessing actually opening the set in general. So let's continue Pan Cham, and we have Raichu, beautiful holographic, along with the Pikachu. The artworks match very well. All right, I think we have like four packs left. And then we'll call it a day. But the journey is not over. Like I said, I'm not going to give up until we pull out Gordy. Right, Jay? Would you say so? It's a hard card to get within um, specifically the Taiwanese version and the uh, sorry, Thai version at this point. I don't know why it's so hard to pull. I, and I'd say definitely I'm more of a fan of the regular full art trainer than the hyper rare rainbow just because I like seeing the actual colors of the trainer cards. I feel like the rainbow kind of takes away from the, you know, the character sometimes. Okay, we have Dupider. We have Mantine. Again, so cool to see all this in Thai. Oh, we got a third VMAX. That's Jeez. quite lucky. What a good box. Number 41 out of 69 and lovely texturing as well. All this one right. looks a little bit more blue tinted. Again, mm -hmm. the thing I like about these VMAX cards, they kind of portray the color of their types a lot more compared to the previous VMAXs I've seen. So big fan of that. And also they're using more artists rather than just five band graphics. Okay, we got the Dream Ball, we got Voltorb, which looks like a Pokeball, <laughs> we got Mudkip, got Zorua, and Morgrim, and we got two more packs. That VMAX was definitely a surprise. Yep. Didn't, didn't expect to see that one, but again, wow. Very pleased with this box. I literally was expecting not much. So either a full art evolution or something else I wasn't really looking forward to, but it's okay. I really wanted a special art or Gordy, so very happy. And pretty much anything I don't have, since I do hope to finish the set across the different languages. So last pack, let's hope for another V card. And if not, it's all good because this box was very successful anyway. One to the front. Ah, we got Gordy. Look at that kind of look, but it's just the regular Gordy. Got Smeargle, Araquanid, Macargo, and Livani. All right, well, overall guys, that was a very successful box. Amazing secret rare and three VMAXs. So overall, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did so, please make sure to smash that like button and also subscribe if you'd like to see more multi-language Pokemon content. Stay safe, everyone. We'll see you in the next video.